Good day, my Crafting Along buddies. This is Jennifer with Just Crafting Along. Welcome to my channel. Well, good day, my Crafting Along buddies, and welcome back. And you think to yourself, Jennifer, what are we diving into today? Well, today we are diving into this adorable, adorable, big, it's big, card that is a purse. It is so stinking cute. I'm in love with it. I tried it out a little while ago and I'm absolutely in love with it. This is the Luxury Icon Purse Die Kit from Anna Griffin. I do have a lot of Anna Griffin. I just never done her on camera. So today we're gonna to dive right into Anna Griffin and we are going to make ourselves a little cute little purse card. So you can make this little adorable thing into a purse card or you can make it into a purse box. So today we're going to do the card. We might dive into the box. I haven't done the box yet. Um, I just did the card a little while ago and I absolutely adore it. It turned out wonderful. It's easy to make. It's easy to do. Um, so we're going to dive right into it. So let me get all everything out and I'm going to go over everything with you and I'm going to show you what you get with the um, kit because I do believe it's still available on HSN. Um, and they have different kinds of textures too they don't have just this one so let me get everything out so i can show you what's in the kit and then we'll go from there so the first thing we're going to look at is the instruction booklet that comes with it anna griffin always gives you her products come with a nice printed color um instruction booklet or like a description booklet so if you open this one up it comes it's very nice it gives you ideas on what to do i'm um, like this one's a card with a packet this is a card um embellished so they give you ideas and then on the back it tells you like shows you the box so it gives you lots of ideas on how to do it then it also gives you colored which i really like i really like the colored directions um it gives you colored instructions on how to do it it also shows you the layers of um, what plates to use when you use her empress um so it shows you how to use it and um how to get the correct plate and placements i do have a the mini empress and um my dies are too big for it, so I'm not able to use that tonight. But it does show you how to go ahead and use your cutting and your bossing and how to do all that if you have an empress. So then it shows you how to actually, what to cut, how many to cut, and how to layer it and how to apply it and how to make it. So then it also gives you the information for the box also. So um, we are gonna get started. I'm gonna show you all these pieces right here. This again is a nice size die kit. It's very big. So let me go ahead. So to start with, we're gonna start with this panel right here. So we're gonna go ahead and show you everything that you get. This is your front textured die, and then this is the, the shadow die of it. So this is your front and back, or you can just do, you can cut out so you have a pattern, or you can just cut the purse out like this, so you have one solid pattern. So those two go together. You have your handle, which comes in two pieces, the matte and layered look. So you can have, again, you can have just a nice solid, um, handle or you can have a handle with a little bit of texture and a little bit of prettiness to it. This is your tag. It also embosses like a little tiny, this little piece right here kind of is embossed and raised. So you have that. You have your buckle that leaves nice little, um, this is embossed right here. It doesn't get cut, it's embossed. And then you have the buckle that goes on top to kind of matte layer it. Then you also have the top part of the purse. To give it a little bit of embellishments with a stitched look. That's why you need to be embossed. So this needs to be embossed, this is embossed, and this right here is embossed, and this is embossed. So you need that. And then you also have your actual card. This will fold your card in half and then here your cards set your two panels together. This is your box. Make the size of your box. And then this helps make your box also. Quite a bit. Um, dies with this kit and you get big dies so i like it i like it how big it is the only thing that downfall is when you get it this nice cute luxury bag comes on a piece of acetate with very sticky tape um not a big deal but when you're getting something this cute i'm sure they plan on you getting um this kit in put it on magnetic envelopes but what I'm finding is with this sticky tape that they used and this 
not even shim, it's like acetate that it's kind of sticking to the dye. So you're going to have to like kind of scrape it all off and wash your dyes and put them in something else. I wouldn't put them back on this acetate. So we will go around it, not a big deal. So let's get to cutting. So what we need to do is, um, it actually shows you, you're going to need two, let me separate everything real quick. Just for the card, you're going to need these items for your card. You need these items. So you're going to need two of these, two of these, two of these, two of these, one of these, one of these, one of those, one of this, and one of these. So you get to pick any color that you want. Again, you're going to need two, 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 one, 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 and one. So you don't have to do this piece. This is just decorative. You don't have to do this piece to make the card. This is the piece that makes the card. This is the whole card. So everything else is embellishment. So to make this card, you could just do a solid piece, which they do show in the book. Um, if you look right here, this is a solid piece. This is a solid piece. Um, so you don't have to do this layer right here. But cut a piece extra. Well, actually, I messed up. I'm going to keep this because I can always lay this inside here. And I know what it's going to look like. So my mistake actually helped me. So you can always lay this on a pattern paper just to see what it's going to look like if you want to cut it. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm shimmering gold underneath and black on top. So I think I'm going to go this way with it. So what you're going to do is to make this lace pattern, you're going to put your, your object here and then you're going to put this over top of it so you have it spaced out right so it also cuts it out. You don't have to guess when you come back. Line this up. We're going to hold it. And then you can cut this out by itself but then it's just, it's not cut out all the way. So if you did it, it would just be stuck on this piece of paper and you would have to line this up to cut it. So if you do them both at the same time, you get both done at the same time. We're going to run this through my machine. I'm going to be using my Gemini today. So take this apart. You're going to get yourself a little tray because we're going to be dumping some pieces in here. I just don't like all my pieces all over my desk. So you're going to easily pull this up. See, hopefully most of it's stuck to it. Look how pretty that is. It's so pretty. Two things. If you have one of these, I don't know, it's a brushy thing that for your dyes. This thing works so good. But see all my pieces that are everywhere? Let me show you what I got for it. Little baby vacuum for your desk. It works so good. I don't, oh, let me get that piece. Yes, I could go like this and put them in my hand or scoop them into my trash or whatever. Nothing on my floor. This little thing works so good. It's by We Are Memory Keepers. And it has the little, the little thing in the front that holds the cord. It's rechargeable. No batteries. It's rechargeable. You just recharge it. Let me get that over. They do have other ones on Amazon, but if you can get a desk vacuum, I highly suggest it. For, it does glitter, it does papers, it does dust, it does dirt, it does um, anything that can fit in this little hole, it fits. And this thing works so good. Another tip too is if you didn't cut this all the way through and you're having a hard time getting your pieces out, don't struggle with it. Just put this piece back on here, line it up. It will click right into place. As soon as you find the holes, it will click right into place. There we go. And just run this back through your machine. So I'm having a hard time right here. This didn't cut all the way. So I'm just gonna run this back in my machine. And I'm not gonna fuss with it. I'm not gonna tear any pieces or anything like that. I'm not gonna struggle. So all I'm gonna do is put it back together. And it will click, see, it clicks right into place like a puzzle. So that's what we're gonna do. So I have everything cut out. So let's go over it real quick. So for this one, 
we have two. The shadow, we have two. Base, we have one. For the tag, we have one plus the matte layer. For the inside shadow of the, I'm sorry, for the inside um, of the handle, we have two. For the shadow of the handle, we have two. For the belt, we have one. We also have one buckle that I already put on. And then for the binder to fold the card, we have one. So this is everything that you should have cut out. And now we're going to actually put it together. So all we're going to do here is I'm going to be using some um, really art glue. And all I'm going to do is trace it along the outer edge. I'm just going to put some right here and some right there. I want those corners to stick really good. And then we're just going to put dots just to give it some hold in the middle. And you can do random dots wherever you want. Wherever your little eyes want to take you, you just go. I'm just going to match up this corner right here. Then it should just lay down. And you're just going to give it a gentle rub. Let that glue kind of stick. And then you just do that to the second one. So do this to this one. All right, we're moving on to the handle. And all we're going to do is put some glue on the back. And we're just going to put it together. I like quick, you could use double-sided adhesive, but I like using liquid glue because as soon as you put the double-sided adhesive on, you're pretty much stuck down. Some liquid glues, you get a little bit of wiggle room. So if you're not quite in the middle, you can wiggle it a little bit, but that one looks pretty good. So we can just give it a little wiggle, a little push, push it where it belongs, and then push it down. And this is gonna go here. And then this, we're gonna do the same thing with this one. Here. I'm gonna put this one right here. There we go. So that looks pretty good. So that one's done. So then this one is pretty much done. Our belt is done. All I did was glue the buckle onto black. So that's done. And then all we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut. See how it's raised right here? We're gonna cut along that line and we're gonna put that right on there. So we're gonna cut right along this line. Kind of follow it, give it a snip, right along this line right here, and then down and around. And then here. And this is gonna go right on top of here. Okay, put some glue on the back. I'm just gonna put that right in the middle of here where it's raised. You can see where it's raised. I'm just going to put that right in the middle. And I think that's all of our pieces. So let me show you the instructions really quick just so you get an idea of what you need to do instead of me just telling you. So if you open it up, we did all these pieces right here. And now what we're going to do is you can go to number two. You can create the card by applying adhesive to the back of the two purse fronts and adhere them to the shadow layers, which we did. Apply adhesive to the back of the two handles and adhere them to the shell. We did. To the bottom of the handles and adhere the handles to the top of the purse. So you're going to um, take this piece right here. We're going to put our cards together. And all you do is put this little piece. We're going to fold it in the middle. We're going to crease it like this. And then we are going to take our cards. This card is going to go full like that. So all we're going to do is we're going to lay these side by side. We're going to undo our little double-sided adhesive. And all we're going to do is 
we're going to fold it this way. And we're just going to put this little bitty Just gonna make our car fold in half, and I did the same. Let me just press it down so it's nice and good. So I did the same color, so you can see um, it inside. This is the inside of the card, and you want to kind of match. So I did the same color. Okay, so all we did was glue our two pieces together. Now we're gonna be moving on to. So all you do is take your belt and you whatever way you want your buckle. And you put this through here, and you put this side through here, and then same way here. You can do this side, then up and over. You're gonna put this right in the middle, right there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of glue. So now we're going to put that right at the top. And you can see where it goes. It goes right along that top right there. And you want to make sure it's not over. You want to make sure it's kind of centered. Give it a good push. And I kind of like this like that. So it kind of looks like it's um, oh, elevated and buckled. So now all we're going to do is we're going to put some glue right here and some glue right here. And you want kind of a lot because you want this to stick really good. It's just going to take a little drying time, that's all. So then we're going to put this one right here. And then right here. I'm going to cover up those little holes. Yeah, put your little. There we go. And give it a good push back down. Then we're going to glue this bottom right here. And then we're just going to make sure it matches. We're going to give it a good push. And then a good push. Perfect. And here's your little tag. Oh, so cute. Look at how cute that is. Look how cute it is. And that is your finished purse bag. Look how adorable this is. This is the Anna Griffin. Um, luxury icon purse card dies and this turned out adorable so cute so so cute this is easy to make so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the box i'm not going to do any more embellishments because i like it i know that these have a lot more embellishments but i really like it like this this is my first card and this is with pattern paper underneath and i even like the pattern paper but look how cute these are. These would be great for invitation. So look how stinking cute these are. These turned out wonderful. So next we're gonna do is we're gonna dive right into making a box. So now moving on to the boxes, but I wanna do the box two different ways. So we're gonna go with the first one first. So we followed all the instructions, like the card instructions. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut out. So I'm only gonna do one panel in the front and two panels for the front and back. So all you do to cut this is you're gonna put this one down and then you're gonna put this one around it so it cuts it out. And you're gonna end up with that. So we're gonna cut out one of these. That's gonna go on the front of this one and this is gonna be the back. Cut out one of these. This is gonna be your embellishment on the front of your purse and this is also gonna hold your, your buckle. So you can cut out one of those and then you're gonna cut out one of the buckle plus the top. And then you're gonna cut out one of the tag 
Plus what I did was I cut out a bottom part of this tag just to kind of give it that matte and layered look. So I'm gonna glue all this together and I'll be right back. So we're gonna glue this one to this, this to this, this, this to the front of this, and you can see the outline of it. This to the front of that. I do have sparkles on my thing, so now I got sparkles on my hand. You can cut two of these. These are gonna be the side. You're gonna cut two of these, two of the small ones, and you're gonna cut two of the big ones. And all we're gonna do is, maybe, we're gonna take this one, maybe, and we're just gonna mat and layer. After I get everything glued together, I'll be right back. Let's go ahead and put this together, the last pieces together. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend this little fold right here, which is, let me show you, which is this little fold right here. I'm gonna bend it toward here. So I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna put some glue on it. You can use double-sided adhesive, liquid glue, whatever you like. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this down and I'm gonna put this piece right even with here. Just gotta make sure it's even, that's so. all. There we go. So then we're gonna be in this piece up and we're gonna take, we're gonna put some glue on this side. give a lot because this is textured glue so our uh, texture paper so I'm gonna give it a lot of glue I'm gonna bring this piece up I'm gonna fold this in I'm gonna leave it even with the side see that side right there we're gonna leave it even with that we're just gonna give it firm pressure and then all we're gonna do is Give it a good push right here. Give it a good push. There we go. We're gonna do the same on this side. This is barely our glue and it holds really good. that in take it right to the edge of that paper easy peasy there we go simple these boxes are easy to do and then we're just gonna put glue here and repeat You want a lot of glue. I'm going to do this side at the same time. I'm just going to put a lot of glue. And we're just going to fold and pinch at the same time. Even, yep, even. And then pinch. These are super easy to make and they're kind of fun. Um, a little bit of die cutting, it's kind of a, like a paper piercing type puzzle type thing. What I have to do now is put this other, other handle on and all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue here, just like our purse, here and here. And all I'm going to do is line it up together here. Put these two together like this. And I'm gonna follow it all the way down. Make sure they're even. And then I'm gonna give it a good push here. And then a good push here. There we go. Now this bag is tight. These little sections right here 
Make this bag super duper tight. I don't want to pull on it because it's still wet. But it's super tight right here. But still adorable. But it's super tight. And what you could probably do is um, I'm going to modify it. But I wanted to just see yeah, that you could make this cute little bag like the directions. But it is tight. So, but it makes us stay together. Look how cute that is. That's adorable. So my other one that I did today is I modified the box so it stayed open. So we're going to finish this one. And all I did was I cut the base. I cut this base right here. And all I did was change these out to two more of the bases. So I cut three of these bases. I put one here, one here, and then the regular base here. So I put, cut out two of these. And all I had to do was... I cut it right here and off right where it was even. And then all I did is I'm going to score. I score. I'm going to score it right here where it says score. I'm going to score right here. Score. And then we're going to cut. Now all we're going to do is we're going to score these edges right here. And score this one up like this. And then I'm just going to cut. I'm going to cut right along this line. I'm going to cut to this score line right here to the end. And then a score line to right here. And what this is going to be able to do is now it's going to pivot. It's going to go into each other. It's going to go like this. And that's going to make us a box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one here. I'm still going to glue it, this edge, to right here. So let's do ahead do that. A birthday party, treat bag, something with maybe little hands can get in there a little bit easier than big hands. So let's go ahead and glue this down. We're just going to make it even with the... Side panel. That's perfect. Right there. Give it a good push. And all I did was put some glue here. And some glue along this edge right here. And we're going to pull this in and give it a good push until it's even. Even it out to that line right there. If you hear anything, it sounds like snoring. It's my cat. So he's in here. He's over there snoring away. He likes to be in here and snore. Okay. So and that gives us that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some glue along this edge right here. And all I did was um rescore this one right at the edge of the glue mark. And then we're going to go like this. We're going to even this one right here and right here. Push this down so it's even. We're going to give these ones a little push. And we're going to even out our box. Right with the this side right here. There we go. Got that one straight. so cute see how cute that is and now you have a gift box that is open and you don't have to try to get little hands in there you don't have to try to peel this apart and get your little hands in there this is just open so let me go ahead and put the handles on and I'm actually gonna put the handles on the inside Slide it over just a little bit. There we go. There we go. Look at how cute this is. So this is much easier to put stuff in. And look how open. See how open it is compared to that. Anna Griffin, um, luxury icon purse 
card die. Say that 15 times fast, you can't. So it's the Luxury Icon Purse Card Die. And you can make purses, just plain purses. You can make a cute little pocket purse. You can make a card, you can make a, bass or a box, you can make whatever you want. You can make a card panel on the front. You can just use the front panel and put it on a scrapbook page. You don't have to make the whole purse. Um, this, you can make many things with this, but what we did was we went ahead and followed the directions. And what I did was I made two cards because it was super easy and super fun. My first card was with pattern paper on the inside. You really couldn't see the pattern paper. And this is the inside, and this is the back side. So that's our first card. Turned out cute. So then I did another one with just plain cardstock underneath. Again, adorable. These would be great for a little um, birthday invitations, wedding showers, um, luncheons, um, anything that you want. Anyone that was a bag or purse, bag or purse um, lover, this would be great to give them one of those. Maybe you're going to give a gift of a purse, and this would be great. This is our bag. The only thing that's bad about these bags is that these are actually very, very tight. I'm sure you can modify this, maybe put two of these on there. Um, I'm not for sure you would have to really look into it and see how you can modify it just so it's open a little bit. My idea of having it modified was this one. Now you can literally probably score right here and kind of pinch it so it kind of closes. And we can do that right now. So we don't even have the score. So it kind of gives it a little bit of a closure or you can just leave it open like this. This is great for a little kid birthday party, um, anything, glass, um, Valentine class treats, um, a little bag for everyone. These are adorable. These would be great for place settings. Um, you could decorate them for Christmas and put them on the you know, Christmas table place setting with people's cards. If you have little ones for Christmas, this would, could be their little stockings that you give them. Um, the, the set is adorable. It's cute. There's other different sets that you can get, but this is a luxury icon purse card with this kind of design in the front and I am absolutely in love with it. I'm not for sure what size card but it turns into a nice big card. It's bigger than my hand and the box is bigger than my hand and the box is big on the inside. If you can see in there even this one. The box is on the inside. It's just the closure is very very tight and you're going to rip it. You can see even with my glue being tight or even with my glue being dried, you can see that I'm starting to rip it a little bit. So these are just, no, these are very, very tight. Um, give it a squeeze and you can see inside. So there you have it. If you have this card kit, get it out. It seems like a lot, but it's not. So get this card kit out, play with it a little bit, have fun with it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw today. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, lots of love, and I'll see y'all soon. Thank you for watching, my Craft Along Buddies. If you loved what you saw today, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, lots of love, and see you soon.